something else you touched on there, I, I thought was really interesting that when we follow the interests of the child, that's fine as long as it's not anything to do with technology. Um, and I, I wonder if that's because there is this sort of perception that there is an association with using an iPad or having screen time with sedentary behaviour and not being an active learner. So if settings want to start introducing more of these kind of, this, more of this digital learning, how can they sure that they're, they're doing it the right way and that it's promoting active use of technology rather than just passive watching a screen? Well, I guess part of the, the problem with screen time is that, that if a child's just sitting there watching YouTube for hours, they might be learning a lot through that, but at the same time, they are just sitting watching TV, basically. And in the same way, you wouldn't, in an early year setting, just put the TV on in the corner and kids would just watch TV. Well, I don't know, maybe some people do, but like, that's not necessarily great. You might still use video as part of a learning experience, but as a kind of just general entertainment, that's not what an early year setting is for. So I, I guess the way you use technology is very different. So if you're, if there's a drawing app and there's an adult doing an adult-led activity, teaching them how to do drawing on this drawing app, it's, they're still developing that fine motor skills, they're still learning how to observe, how to represent what they're seeing, giving meaning to marks, all these things are happening, but it's just using a digital form. So I really think that, that computers are a tool and you can use tools well or you can use tools badly, but that, that's, they are still just tools.